There's a credit mill around here. You just walk over to the credit mill, punk down your six or eight hundred dollars, and sometimes, depending on the school, they will ask you what mark you need for what course, and you don't even have to go to a class. Getting a grade of 98% without ever attending a class. A former public high school teacher is speaking out about what she says she's witnessed increasingly over the last 10 years. Students who are not earning good grades, but buying them at a handful of privately run high schools in the GTA. At this point, I feel more free to talk about this more openly. Too bad about the liberal B courses you have to take now, right? Yeah. Alice Boyle was an educator for 34 years, most recently teaching high school ESL in York Region. She says very little has been done to stop so-called credit mills from handing out passing marks for payment. It's just so wrong. The ministry isn't doing enough. The more than 700 private high schools in Ontario operate independently, but they still must pass provincial inspection before being given the green light to offer official Ontario secondary school credits. In the last six years, roughly 20 private high schools in the province failed that inspection and had their credit status revoked. 15 of those were here in the GTA. Of those 15, nine of them were located on this stretch of Young Street between North York and York Region, many in plazas and largely corporate buildings. Documents obtained by City News through a Freedom of Information request show several examples, including two at Canadian Nobel Academy near Young and Steeles. In 2013, the school was accused of letting students buy credits, falsifying student attendance, and having a routine practice of mark inflation. And in 2017, their status was pulled again after a grade 12 biology student immediately upon enrollment received a report card and a mark of 84%. These private schools uh, sometimes open up, um, and get closed down by the ministry. Um, and then they reopen like months later under a different name. We went to the address where Canadian Nobel Academy used to be located. It's now been replaced by a new school named Toronto Nobel Academy. The school has the same principal who inspectors say issued fake report cards on more than one occasion in the past. Staff invited us inside to wait for the principal's arrival, but before we could set up our camera, the principal immediately refused to answer any questions. You were also the principal at Canadian Nobel. Why I'm not you? allowed to ask to answer of course these you're questions. Allowed. You're absolutely allowed to answer. I'm not allowed, right? You're not allowed to ask me these questions. Uh, can you just convince me to take a courage and then ask your, uh, answer your questions? Please leave the area. Okay, no problem. In 2015, Alpha Star High School was accused of providing students only half of the 110 instruction hours needed to earn a credit. Last year, North Toronto Private School confessed to giving 98% to a student who they admit never attended any classes. That grade was submitted for university applications. You also qualify for entrance scholarships then. So if you're getting 95 plus, you can get $4,000 a year from the university. Mm -hmm. Um, very unfairly. We reached out to the province requesting an interview with the education minister. Instead, Stephen Lecce's office sent us a statement saying that the ministry does not regulate, license, accredit, or otherwise oversee the operation of private schools. So they advise parents and students to do their research before they register. Uh, coming up, why one critic says that recent changes to Ontario's education system may fuel this problem even more.